Hi, I'm Larry Bopka at Second Swing. Uh, master fitter here, been around the industry for 39 years. Uh, worked for a few different companies and have designed clubs and worked with players. And uh, we were kind of chatting the other day and somebody asked, hey, what's your five top putter designs ever? You know, what are the, what are the five most important putters ever? And uh, I had to think about it a lot. You know, there's been some great putter designs. There's been some unique putter designs. But I kind of boiled it down. I kind of boiled it down to these five. So the first one would be, and obviously this one is very old, but it's the 8802 style. It's the end shafted blade. It, you know, it's the it's the Crenshaw style, the 8802, the Scotty Cameron Napa design. Basically, up till the late 60s, early 70s, this is pretty much what everybody putted with. You know, variation, maybe a little different flange, a little different offset, but this is the putter that everybody used. These were the classic putters. And then around 1969, Karsten came out with the ping putter, okay? Now, I, re I remember being in high school when this came out, so I just dated myself. But this was unbelievable. I mean, it, to, most, to most players, I remember a couple of club pros telling me, oh my gosh, it looks like a plumbing fixture. I mean, they really didn't think that much of it till George Archer went out and won with it. And all of a sudden, everybody wanted to try a ping putter. You know, investment casting, so his new material where, where all these putters were forged before, he stepped out and now started using some different materials, different manufacturing to create heel and toe weight and start kind of the MOI craze in putters. So along that line, I'm going to go with a basically the same kind of style and design we're going to talk about a scotty cameron newport so is the design revolutionary no not necessarily but scotty cameron kind of took us into the modern days of of putting okay you had karsten doing his putters you had a few guys like tad moore bobby grace tp mills that were doing starting to do some milled putters and some unique things starting to bring putters into the age of maybe art or jewelry scotty took it to the extreme scotty made beautiful putters that performed really good and also kind of made it exciting and cool to have a cool head cover on it um, has really done very very well through the years um, he's a great friend and he really took putters to kind of the modern era so from there, I kind of take it into kind of the modern look, which an Odyssey two ball, white hot insert. So now we're talking about putting some inserts in it. We're talking about changing the feel coming up. As the golf ball started to get firmer and firmer, we wanted to make that strike a little bit less. So they came up with this white hot insert. Well, along with that, now we've got a ball alignment, you know? So if you, probably a lot of you don't remember, Dave Pels had a putter with golf ball, with, with simulated golf balls on the back of it. This is kind of their generation of this. So to me, this is kind of the modern putter. It's also, we get into face balanced because of the shaft bend. Now we're starting to talk about higher moment of inertia, different stroke types, different inserts. So, so from there, you know, it's not necessarily all about the tailor-made spider, but it's the type of putter. So now we've got the inserts, we've got the alignment. Now we've gone to back weighting. And back weighting now talks about really raising the moment of inertia and that resistance to twist because in any golf club whether it's a putter or a driver or an iron the farther the center of gravity is from the shaft the more resistance to twist there is so this is 
you know, this is my favorite version of the back weighted modern putter that we all look at and we all hope that when we come in the second swing, it's going to be the one that's going to help us make all kinds of putts. So, I mean, to me, these are the ones that have made the most impact in putting. They are definitely the most varied in styles. And they're the ones to me that will, you know, be interested to see what the next generation is going to look like. Okay, because if you look at all these putters, these have all become accepted styles. You know, like I said earlier, oh my gosh, the, the ping answer when it came out, people thought it looked like a plumbing fixture because it looks so different than a blade putter. You know, then the two ball looked different. The, the spider looked different. Can't wait to see what the next putter five, 10 years down the road is going to look like that everybody's going to go, wow, that's a modern classic. So those are my putters. You know what? Come and see us someday. We do putter fittings here. Really help your putting out and we'd love to see you.